Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Malke of Living Streams bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And uh, uh, this morning, I'm still running through the whole resurrection process, you know, and, um, and the Bible said something that really kicked me. It, 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 it really fascinated me. The Bible said, now when Jesus, first of all, on the third day, there came an angel. If you remember the story, there came an angel of the Lord which did roll the stone and then he made the soldiers there, they fell down in fear and they were stiff. And then the angel sat on that stone, on the rolled stone. There came an angel of the Lord which did roll away the stone and sat upon the, up, upon the, upon the stone. Uh, that blows me. That makes me very excited. Now, here's the reason why I'm excited by it. Is that, and uh, I like to capture my thoughts as, when heaven sits on it, when heaven sits on it, when heaven sits on it. Now here's the principle and it's very, very simple. Now, I mean, Pilate and Herod and all the uh, high priests, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, the Pharisee people and the Sadducee people, you know, the Bible said they, they, they had, I mean, they were determined that Jesus Christ was going to remain in the grave and he was not going to get out of the grave and he was his final resting place was going to be the grave and the bible said they they just put a stone over there and then they even put a seal on the stone and then they posted soldiers over over uh the, the tomb and said now you watch and make sure that nobody comes to do any funny thing then with all the precautions and with all the security measures, the Bible says an angel came to town. And when the angel came to town, he just brushed those so, uh, uh, soldiers aside. And the Bible says they fell and they were like, they became still like people who were dead. And the Bible says it was the angel that rolled the stone and then he sat on the stone. The first principle that I like to throw around you is, listen, when God wants to do something, no matter the barricades men erect, and no matter the barriers men erect, when the divine has purpose to do something, the efforts of men to resist it are just funny. Because the God we serve, he is the one when he opens a door, no one can shut. And when he shuts that door, no one can open. So the puny uh, attempts of men, the puny attempts of men to, to, to kind of block a divine move, of, uh, that will not happen. It ain't going to happen. Why? Because sometimes God will send divine assistance. If you remember, when he came to Lazarus, men rolled the stone. Jesus Christ employed men to roll the stone. But when he came to the divine, when he came to Jesus, because of the obstinacy of men, the pig-headedness of men, to keep him in that grave, angels came to roll it away. An angel rolled it away. And what blew my mind, you know, that were, apart from divine assistance, the angels sat on the stone, meaning to say, this one, we got it permanently. No one can change it. No one can move it. And if you are a man, you can remove me from sitting on the stone and roll back the stone. It ain't going to happen. This was heaven's message. So there are some things and there are some challenges. When heaven sits upon it, that's it. Finito. No one can roll back the stone. No one can change the tide of events. No one can change the supremacy of God. No one can change that destiny that God has in store for you. Why? Because angels are sitting on it. Why? Because the divine is sitting on the obstacle. Why? Because the divine is sitting on the problem. And heaven is saying, if you are a man, if you are a woman, to your adversaries and the people who would like to see you down, if you are a man or if you are a woman, you come look for me. And come and remove my backside from the stone. When heaven sits upon it, no one can touch it. It's finito. It's absolute. I'm so happy. See you later.